touch the ground My ears can't hear the sound of the tongue Reach the sky We'll fly up to the moon I know we'll be there soon Wait and see Hello everyone, today I am doing an outfit of the day. I met CSG for lunch. It's a windy day, it's supposed to rain. The temperature is wonderful, it's 80 degrees, but it is overcast, so I brought rain shoes in case I need them. I am wearing a shirt dress, which is my favorite style of dress. With it, I am wearing flat pointed toe shoes, a black belt and I'm carrying a black handbag. My shirt dress has silver colored snaps so I am wearing a mixture of silver color and yellow gold color jewelry and rose gold. Actually my, my eternity band get well band ring is a mixture of white yellow and rose gold. Why do I love a shirt dress? because it's so versatile and it's so flattering on a variety of figures. Even though I don't have much going on on the top, I'm actually very small chested. More of my curves are on the bottom on my hips. So I have a sort of a wine bottle or Chianti bottle figure, a pear figure. It gives me the illusion of, illusion of a hourglass shape. If you already have an hourglass shape, it fits you beautifully. If you have no hips, but you are busty, it fits you beautifully and it makes you look like you have hips. And all of us, it makes us look like we have a waist, whether we have one or not. This one is nipped in at the waist naturally. Sometimes they are elasticized. Sometimes they're just a straight shirt that goes all the way to the knees or just below. And then you can belt it or it might come with a belt or a self tie fabric belt. This one, I put my own belt with it. It is long sleeve, but I just folded the sleeves up a few times to make it more casual looking. It's also warm today. So I like it rolled up a bit. Then you can see bracelets when I do that. My jewelry today is sterling silver and 18 karat gold or stainless steel. This is my Michelle watch. Had this for quite a few years, I'd say seven years, eight years. My husband bought it for me for Christmas we bought it at Nordstrom. I remember when we went to pick it up. I say that sadly because we no longer have a Nordstrom because of COVID and all that, it closed. So no longer have a Nordstrom. Then I'm wearing my Lagos, David Yerman, and do any of you remember Judith Ripka JR2 back in the day when she did 18 karat gold, sterling silver and diamond jewelry? She no longer is with the company, or she sold her company, I should say, but uh, I bought most of my Judith Ripka JR2 at Saks Fifth Avenue, and I still love it and wear it. And this is probably, goodness, 10 years old, 12 years old. But again, a timeless piece, so is Yerman and Lagos. Then I have 14 karat gold, white gold earrings. Wearing a headband, uh, my hair. I made the mistake of putting oil in my hair the night before and not washing it with soap or shampoo this morning. I decided to just rinse it. I thought, oh, I don't want to wash too much of it out. Well, I didn't wash enough of it out. Some of it came out, some of it didn't. So some of it's curled and some of it isn't. And I'm trying a new setting product so I don't know if it worked or not I think it did because I have some curl here but I have so much oil in my hair I can't tell so I'll have to report back I also walked several blocks to and from the restaurant because there was no parking nearby and it's quite windy and humid so that didn't help 
but I did use hot rollers. Some of you have asked, how have I been curling my hair? I use old fashioned hot rollers. They're not steam rollers. Those were the ones I prefer, but they don't make them anymore. There's one brand that makes a type that you put in one roller at a time that I don't want to use. I just don't see the point of that. I like the kind that were all in one container and they got a lot of steam. They just seem to hold, or they just seem to curl my hair longer. Although I have found a setting gel that I've used. If I don't use too much or too little, it seems to work well. So I will let you know which work. I'm still trying them out. I don't know if I can recommend. Well, I guess I can, I can recommend them. <laughs> this one, I just don't know. I will put the gel that I've been using down below. I will also put this one down below. Both are rated very well with Environmental Working Group. Neither one of them give me headaches or itchy scalp or bother my eyes. It seems strange that sometimes hair products can actually cause me to have watery eyes or burning eyes or headaches, even if they don't have a scent. I will say this foam I use today does have a strong scent. It did not give me a headache or cause me issues with my eyes, and I am very sensitive. However, if you don't like to scent, you probably won't like this. It just depends. I will link them both below. The makeup I'm wearing is from Green Beauty Brands. I will link to all the products down below. I will show you what my lip color is. It's in my handbag. I'm. I think I mentioned I'm wearing black accessories, carrying a black bag. This one I've shown you before is from Longchamp. This exact one isn't available anymore, but I will link to some similar because they do have similar ones. It has a detachable shoulder strap. This happens to be gold hardware. They do have online a make your own Longchamp bag, which is nylon and you can choose your own leather color, your own hardware color, and your own bag size, and whether or not you want a strap. I will link to that below, because you can make something that looks very similar to this, which would be less expensive as well, and in nylon with leather trim. This one is all leather. Now you can zip it and snap the flap, but I left the zipper unzipped so I could show you what's inside. It is a fabric lining with one slip pocket here. I love this bag. One of you asked if I'd be interested in selling it. I am not. I love this size. I wear it a lot. It is crossbody or shoulder bag, and I just use it often. I'm using my Celine items that I think I have already shown you by now my sunglasses, my Celine key and card pouch, but I have makeup products in it right now, my Chanel mirror in a pouch. This is a dual sided mirror. My faux pebbled leather Kleenex pouch. My puffer that I don't have to use, luckily my Celine card case, three cards on the front or back, whichever it is, I guess this is the front, one card slot on the front, it's leather here, and then a zip top. So I carry my other cards in the zipper section along with cash and coins. And this I have shown you already, I believe, and this is my comb, also in Triumph coated canvas from Celine. Now it's tiny, but I like it for smoothing out my hair. It's perfect for small handbags and it has this adorable pouch. This is actually a mustache comb, but it works so beautifully as a fine tooth comb. 
I love it. I'm going to put everything back in and I will be with you in a moment. Oh, I forgot to tell you about the lip color because I do have it. Actually, I have only one of them now that I think of it. I'm wearing two colors on my lips. The base color is by Honest Beauty. I will put a photograph of it here. And then over it, I'm wearing this. This is by Gabriel. It's mauve. This is a new color. My lips actually look a lot like they did right after lunch. I did not have to put very much on to get this. I just put a little bit in the middle. These are both very moisturizing, both the Honest Beauty lip color and this one. The other one, I will put the name of it and or the color here for Honest Beauty, I don't remember, but it is more of a brown red burgundy where this is more of a pink hmm, wine color. So mixing the two together gives you this. So this is a key pouch, but I'm using it for makeup today. Let me show you the key holder here. So this is my lip brush. It's a dual ended lip brush, hand sanitizer. Then I have triple purified petroleum jelly and hand lotion in little containers. I think they're three gram size. I will link to all of them below. The one other thing I wanted to show you is the shoes I'm carrying in case it rains. And they are, I think I've showed them to you by now, but not with the clip-ons that I have on them. They're so cute. These are Amazon shoes. But I have these adorable bows clipped on. They're so pretty. So they're grow grain ribbon. See, so just clip it on like this. I just think they're so sweet with the, like that. I think they look so adorable with the bows. So that's what I was going to wear if it rained but I'm headed home so I didn't have to wear them after all. I will show you, well, let me show you. No, I can't show you my shoes. I will show you in another shot what my shoes look like. They're quite old, so I will link to something similar below. My shoes are from Brooks Brothers, so probably about 15 years old. I love them, they're pointy toe flats. I do love pointy toe flats because they are very, I think, elegant, feminine looking. I don't know what it is about the point. I don't want an exaggerated point, just a, you know, a subtle point, and these are like that. My sunglasses are black to go with my black bag and black accessories. I think that is everything I wanted to talk about. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Also, if you are not a subscriber to my blog, I hope you will consider subscribing. My subscribers find out firsthand when I post a new video or a blog post, and I do not inundate your mailbox with emails. I only post maybe once every two weeks, sometimes not that often, at the most once a week. Also, I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can be notified by YouTube, although it doesn't always work according to some of you. That's why I recommend my blog. Both are very helpful. They let Google know that I am being watched, being noticed by all of you, and it helps Google share my blog and my YouTube videos with others. Coming up next is my outfit. Thank you so much for watching my video and I will talk to you in my next one.